Most items in a landfill take long to decompose, such as plastics and metals. The heavier the packaging, the longer it takes to decompose. Every year, humans fill enough garbage trucks to form a line that goes halfway to the moon. The Fresh Kills Landfill is one of two man-made structures that are seen from space. Okay, the purpose of our experiment. Through this project, we will define how much pollution a landfill produces and how it affects the earth. We will show how you can help. Right, what we're doing, materials. Two quart jars. One measuring cup, two cups of gravel or pebbles, one cup of topsoil, six sponge pieces, red food coloring, a rubber band, and a plastic bag. Oh, and four cups of water. Alright, what we're doing. Step one, we're going to use one jar to make an open dump. We're going to pour two inches of gravel into the jar. So we're going to pour one inch of gravel into jar one. This experiment is kind of messy. We will clean it up to the best of our ability. Yes. How does that look good? I think we need to just a little. The gravel represents the aquifer. Add enough water to cover the gravel. Right, let's take this and put it. One inch of topsoil on the gravel, which I have here. All right, go ahead. All right, can you hold it up and turn it around? But now hold it up. I have to. Probably just a little bit more because it's gonna mix with the water. Okay. Yeah. Is that an inch? Yeah, because it mixes in with the water. No, it's it has to be an inch of topsoil. to cut sponge pieces about one half inch. Which we, we have already done that. Put red food coloring on the sponge. So we have to put... Them. Do we put them in first? Yeah, put them yeah. in. So we're going to put a couple of these sponge pieces in. I'd say it's probably not. <coughs> yeah. And then, well, this actually works better than I expected it to. And we're going to put some red food coloring on here, which will represent waste. Plates on, which will be on top of the topsoil, going down into the topsoil. There we go. Okay. Alright, so that's going to represent hazardous pollutants. Step four make it rain on the dump by pouring one and one half cup of water over it. Observe what happens. Alright, so we're going to pour one and one half cup. Okay. Of course, it mixes in with the water, making the water red. Right. Now we're going to make a properly designed fill. We're going to repeat step one using a second jar. So we're going to Which do was put two inches. Put two inches. <laughs> we're going to put two inches of gravel back into this jar. Put the Alright, so now we're going to 
suspend a plastic food storage bag, which I have here. Plastic food, about two inches above the wall. Oh, did you suspend it? No. No, over this jar. Oh, yeah. About, like, probably right there. Okay, so it's expend a plastic food storage bag about two inches above the water. Wrap the bag over the top of the jar and hold it in place with a rubber band. Ms. Watkins, do you have a rubber band? We mm -hmm. have one with us. Alyssa, yeah. we did top right drawer. Right? Under the, under, under one of my pillows. No, no. We did have one, but it kind of got lost. Well, I thought maybe you broke it. No, Brendan was the last one. is a landfill liner. Alright, so that's repeat step three, placing sponge pieces in the bag. Oh, but it's supposed to be all here. I can take them out. Yeah, we can take them out. Like, you can just pour more in there. Put them in there. Two. It's going to hurt in there. Yeah, I know. We're going it, to, it, this is, it's a sponge. Yeah, these are pollutants anyway. Yes, they are. Step four, and we're going to observe what happens in the groundwater. All right. No, we got to cover this with one. Yeah. Look, it says in the last part of the <laughs> Water in the first jar is polluted, as the water in the second jar has no pollution in it. Because if you can see, this water is this red. This water is red, and this water is just brown like the topsoil. It's just brown because of the topsoil. Mm -hmm. All right, echo. Right, did the jars show different results? Yes, they did, because this one shows how the pollutants, and this one shows a properly designed landfill. Did the water get polluted from the red dye? On um, this one, it did because this is a not properly designed landfill. But this landfill is properly designed, so therefore keeping our water safe. Landfill with pollutants, of right. course. They yes. And this landfill did there. come out of su success because this water is not red. But because this water did. Yes, but this water is red because it wasn't properly designed. Did you like our project? Yes. So, yes. Yeah.